In America, they're so worried about getting sued that there's a label in the buggy that says, always remove child before folding. <laughs> it's like, wow. Oh, I'm still in here! <laughs> When you're desperately trying to get buttons to work, they never do. And the more you panic, they never do. I know this because I was watching something when I was 14 and my mum came in and I was desperately <laughs> trying to get the buttons to work. <laughs> Every summer we used to be like, Dad, where's mum gone? And my dad said, oh, yeah, she's swimming around the lock and some Americans are taking pictures of her. <laughs> I put my hands up and I lean back and I look up to this God in the heavens and I'm like, God, what am I gonna do? I don't understand this, I'm a young guy. I've never experienced this before. Well, what am I gonna say? Tarzan was amazing. He was like, oh, like really. I was sitting next to my wife, she was like. <laughs> I was like, Tarzan, shut your mouth. I've always wanted to say that. She's doing that thing that you ladies do where she's talking and crying at the same time. <laughs> you don't understand me. You're right. <laughs> but imagine if the end of that story was that the kids look, and they see all the effort that the mums made, the doors have opened, the mums there, and the little kids are like, whatever, back away, shut the door, move on. But you know, God sent his son Jesus. He's done everything he physically could do. The doors have been opened and he's there wanting to connect with you. What are you gonna do? Are you just gonna shut the door tonight? Keep on drifting away from him. Maybe drift forever away from this loving God.